a fearsome appearance, crazy looking teeth, and hitting speeds up to 36 miles per hour. Are barracudas dangerous to us? Let's dive in and find out. The barracuda is a saltwater fish found in the oceans worldwide. The fish has black and gray scales covering its upper body and a white belly. They have a snake-like appearance and powerful jaws with rows of sharp teeth. There are 20 different species of barracuda ranging in sizes from less than a foot to almost seven feet long. They're able to get this big because they have very few natural predators. Barracudas are most commonly seen around reefs where they're hunting their prey. They eat all kinds of fish, snapper, grunts, grouper, you name it, and they probably eat it. Now, although barracudas may appear dangerous, they do not pose a threat to us in the water. There have only been 25 recorded barracuda attacks in the last century. I swim with this fish almost every day and they never show aggressive behavior towards me. Occasionally though, I get in a pretty intense staring contest with Mr. Kuda. He tilts his head at a 30 degree angle and stares me down. I'm the sheriff of this town, and what you gonna do about it, son? When that happens, I tend to just ignore him. But if he's really bugging me and won't leave me alone, I'll just swim right at him. <coughs> Barracudas are like bullies. If you stand up to them, they'll probably go away. But you never know. Sometimes they'll come back, and you'll have to do it again. <coughs> Don't forget, there are a few rules that you should follow when swimming with a cuda. First, do not wear shiny objects. They might think that that shiny object is another small fish that they would normally uh, consume or eat or attack. So don't wear shiny objects. And second, do not do any unnecessary splashing or anything like that. Even if you do both of those things, the likelihood of being attacked by a cuda is very slim. Um, but if you wanna ensure your, your own protection, when you're in the water with a barracuda, maybe avoid those two things. What if I told you that a large barracuda poses more of a threat on your dinner plate than it does in the water? Big barracudas are more of a threat in your sandwich bun because their meat is usually contaminated with ciguatera. What is ciguatera, you ask? Ciguatera is a food poisoning caused by eating large reef fish. Over time, big barracudas larger than three and a half feet can accumulate this toxin naturally. Smaller cudas usually don't have it. Ciguatera toxin is produced by a marine dinoflagellate called Gambier discus. Gambier discus grows on the surface of algae and derives it of its nutrients. This makes Gambier discus what we would call an epiphyte. When a little reef fish comes along and eats algae with this dinoflagellate on it, it becomes infected with ciguatera toxin. When a larger fish comes along and eats that little reef fish, the toxin accumulates in the larger fish's body. This process repeats itself until you hit the top of the food chain, where our big barracuda's at. This process is called bioaccumulation. Ciguatera poisoning has no effect on a fish's body, but on a human's it can be very painful. The food poisoning causes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and just a lot of other nasty things. A common symptom of Ciguatera is a hot cold reversal. Things that were hot are now cold and vice versa. These symptoms occur within six to eight hours after eating the contaminated fish and can last from weeks to years. Although ciguatera is very common in big barracudas, people still eat them. 
The presence of Sigu Terra and Barracuda and other big reef fish ranges from place to place. In one place, you can eat any size Barracuda and be totally fine. But in another place, you're at risk of getting Sigu Terra. So when deciding to eat the fish, it's best to seek local knowledge. So, is the Barracuda dangerous? In my opinion, no. You should be fine to swim with this awesome fish and maybe even enjoy a Kuda sandwich. But just remember to be cautious, safe, and smart. If you have any more questions on the Barracuda, leave them in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of World Schooling and learned something new. See you guys on the next one.